Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Well, it's time for Shutterbug AU, my make along, and our first picture for April. So, March in review, lots of lovely bright colours and interesting projects coming along. It was really great to see. So remember, keep posting your pictures. It is a lot of fun to see them. If you've finished a project, you can always start another small one till the end of June or add to one you're already working on. So, my projects for March. Well, I just have to reach over here. This is the third, second, third bump. I've got the head bump, bump. The third bump for my Shutterbug I am making. I added purple gold and purple gold green and gold green i wanted to try and get my bump to grow a bit so that is my third bump and my squares for hip to be square well i finally pegged some of them together with stitch markers and started adding some they were the two i made i made gold with purple edging and purple with gold edging and they're going to go there so i've got a few squares adding up now and I am slowly adding them and connecting them. What is it? Join as you go. That's what I'm looking for. Now remember, the participant prize draw for the $25 gift voucher will be in a little video at the end. Make sure you watch all the video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, it helps me. YouTube, yet again, took a heap of watch hours off me. I have no idea why. They do it to me a couple of times a year. I've really got no idea. But my watch hours are really quite low. They never seem to grow. Anyway, guys, it is much appreciated when you do that. When you watch the videos, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. First photo for April the 1st. Yes, it's very late on April the 1st. No, it's not April Fool's Day now. I've left it late so that the people in the Northern Hemisphere could get their photos in. I didn't want to rush it. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't been very well. I've picked up a bit of a tummy bug, which has laid me a bit low over Easter. But I hope if you celebrate Easter, you had a great time with your family celebrating. And if you don't, you just have fun spending time with your family. Now, there are 17 names on the wheel. We gained one, we lost one, and one I was fairly certain wouldn't enter this month. Um, guys, if you could all keep in your prayers, Angela Mannery and her family, um, they're going through a difficult time at the moment, and I'm sure she'll be back with us when she's ready. But right now, it would be nice if we could all send her some healing vibes and hugs and prayers. So, 1st of April's photo. This photo was taken by Thing. 16 years ago when I worked it out I couldn't believe it we went on a trip to the Arctic for my 50th birthday I love polar bears I collect ceramic polar bears I just find them so interesting and he rather than a party he organized a huge trip for me to go with him to the Arctic Finland Norway Sweden Copenhagen Denmark it was just awesome. We were there between 8 to 10 weeks and had a great time. In the Arctic, we went on a cruise, but not like a flash cruise, very basic cruise ship. And we circumnavigated Svalbard looking for polar bear plus other animals. This photo is not a polar bear, although I have some terrific photos of polar bears. This was something that really moved me and I never expected to find it that interesting when I was in the Arctic. So in the afternoons, we used to get in the Zodiacs and go off and walk on the tundra. And this particular day, they took us to a place which I call the walrus killing fields. It is a field full of walrus bones skulls been there for years little pink flowers rosy colored pink flowers grow up amongst them i found it quite sad and depressing at the amount of bones and the amount of walrus that had been killed so during the 60s they were almost exterminated in svalbard and to about the 70s there was very few left in the 70s and then they introduced a protect protection act they were killed for their ivory tusks, for 
uh, ornate ivory crucifixes, jewellery, chess pieces. That's what they wanted them for. More, than, I'm sure they used the meat, but it was their ivory. In the 70s, when the Protection Act came in, they have slowly recovered and their numbers are in good shape at the moment. And it was quite a depressing thing to see. But later that night, about 11.30 at night, because we had Midnight Sun, we went out again and we went and saw live walrus laying on the tundra. They are so funny and amusing. We stood quite a way back, but we could see them really well. They are really cumbersome and slow and smelly and slob around on the sand. But they wait, make their way to the water really slowly. But once they hit the water, they are so agile, so fast, and they seem to love playing together. It was just awesome to see. Um, I'm sure there are lots of interesting facts about walrus that you can research if you're into that sort of thing. One of the photos I took, I think I've shown on YouTube before. If I can find it, I'll put it at the end with our photo for April. Um, in the Zodiac, we got really up close and personal with a, um, a walrus on ice. And I've got a fantastic photo, which is my screensaver at work. So hopefully I can find it on my home computer to show you. Anyway, our photo is of me in the killing field, as I call it. Look, I'm very bulky. I've got thermals, jeans, wet weather gear on top. It was freezing. I, for me, a tropics girl, I think it was like minus eight or minus 10. But there you go. Look, it's gonna glare in this light. We've had a lot of rain, which we always do around Easter. So there's a rose pink, like a denim, a gray, a darker blue an off-white, a beigey colour, and then a torpy colour. Remember, this photo will be at the end for you to have a look at and check out the colours for your project. So don't forget to do that. Um, you'll get a better view of the photo there. So um, that's about it. I do, I, this trip was awesome. We did so much on this trip. We explored so many things. And this in particular, this moment when Thing took the photo, I remember thinking how sad all these animals were killed for their tusks. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying Shutterbug AU and seeing it through to the end and that you can pick some great colours to go into your project or start a new project. Until next time, stay safe, stay well and make sure you have one crafty day. Bye for now. Welcome to the participant prize draw for Shutterbug AU and the month of March. There are 17 names on the wheel. Good luck, everyone. Oops. Now it's spinning. Kathleen Yu. Kathleen, congratulations. If you could email me and claim your $25 gift voucher, whether it be Amazon or whether you want to patterns or pay it into PayPal, just let me know in the email. And yes, congratulations and thank you for participating. Everyone, I am really looking forward to what you make during April or what colours you add to your project. Stay safe, stay well and remember, keep crafting. Bye for now.